everyone, and welcome to Chem Talk, where today we'll be discussing Vesper theory and its applications to chemistry. So let's get into it. The premise of Vesper theory is really in its name. Vesper stands for valence shell electron pair repulsion. This just means that pairs of valence electrons repel each other. In order to minimize this repulsion, atoms will rearrange themselves so they are as far away as possible from other atoms. We can use this theory to predict the shape of a molecule after the atoms rearrange themselves. But first, let's look at some key terms you need to know to understand these molecular shapes. A central atom is the atom at the very center of a molecule, and usually the first element in a chemical formula. You should also know what lone pairs are. A lone pair is an atom's pair of valence electrons that's not part of a covalent bond. And bond angles are the angles between adjacent bonds of an atom. Now that you're familiar with these terms, let's get into the structures we can predict with Vesper. Molecules may have a linear shape. These molecules have two atoms bonded to the central atom and zero lone pairs on the central atom. For example, if we look at the Lewis dot structure of carbon dioxide, we can see that there are two oxygens bonded to the carbon and no lone pairs on the carbon, so CO2 is a linear molecule. Linear means straight. So these molecules are in the shape of a straight line and form a 180 degree bond angle. Another shape we can predict is the trigonal planar. Trigonal planar molecules have three atoms bonded to the central atom and zero lone pairs on the central atom. An example of this is BF3, which has three fluorines bonded to a boron that doesn't have any lone pairs on it. We can draw this molecule's 3D shape like this. And since a circle has a measure of 360 degrees, and there are three bond angles in a trigonal planar molecule, we divide 360 and 3 to get 120 degrees as the measure of each bond angle. The next shape we'll look at is a trigonal pyramidal. These molecules have three atoms bonded to the central atom and one lone pair on the central atom. If we look at pH 3, it is a trigonal pyramidal molecule because there are three hydrogens bonded to a phosphorus, which has only one lone pair on it. Trigonal pyramidal molecules look like pyramids, hence their name. We draw one balloon-like shape on the central atom to represent the one lone pair that central atom has. Trigonal pyramidal molecules have bond angles that measure about 107 degrees. Molecules can also be in the shape of a tetrahedral. Tetrahedrals have four atoms bonded to the central atom, and no lone pairs on the central atom. CCl4 is a tetrahedral molecule, as there are four chlorines bonded to the carbon, and the carbon has no lone pairs on it. This is what the molecule looks like if we draw it out, and each bond angle will have a measure of about 109.5 degrees. Finally, we have bent molecules. Bent molecules may have two atoms bonded to the central atom and one lone pair on the central atom. This is what the molecule's 3D shape looks like, with one balloon shape drawn on the central atom to represent its one lone pair. Each bond angle measures about 117.5 degrees. Bent molecules may also have two bonded atoms and two lone pairs on the central atom. This bent molecule looks like the other bent molecule, with the exception of two balloon-like shapes drawn in the central atom to represent its two lone pairs. Each bond angle in this bent molecule will have a measure of about 104.5 degrees. Now that we can recognize these shapes, let's do a little practice. Pause the video and try to identify the molecular shape of each of these molecules. Okay, so for NH3, we can see that there are three hydrogens bonded to the nitrogen, and that the nitrogen only has one lone pair. Thus, we can identify ammonia as a trigonal pyramidal molecule, because it has three atoms bonded to the central atom, and one lone pair on the central atom. For SO2, there are two oxygens bonded to the sulfur, and one lone pair on the sulfur. Hopefully, you said that this molecule is bent because bent molecules may have two bonded atoms and one lone pair on the central atom. And for CH4, or methane, four hydrogens are bonded to a carbon that doesn't have any lone pairs. Therefore, CH4 has a tetrahedral structure, as it has four bonded atoms and no lone pairs on the central atom. Before you go, let's recap. Pairs of valence electrons and atoms repel each other, so atoms rearrange themselves to minimize this repulsion. 
This is the premise of Vesper theory, and the shapes that are then created by these atoms are linear, trigonal planar, trigonal pyramidal, tetrahedral, and bent. We can predict what shape a molecule will be based on the number of atoms bonded to the central atom and the number of lone pairs on the central atom. And that is all for today's lecture. Thank you so much for watching this video. And please visit www.chemistrytalk.org to learn more amazing lessons about chemistry. Bye!